we've talked before about how people are beginning to change. Actually, they were changing even before this came along, um, as it was prophes prophesied, or predicted, whatever. In, uh, in Timothy, Timothy talks about how man would change in the last days, and um, and it's happening. People are becoming colder. People are becoming lovers of themselves and of money. Children are be obviously very disrespectful of their parents. Because why? They're wrapped up in all these stupid video games that are leading to the metaverse. Boy, if I... <laughs> My children wouldn't like me now. They, they, they'd be locked up. I'd, I'd be monitoring their every activity because... That's just the kind of person. I'm a very protective person. And I, I, wouldn't let, I would not let evil touch my children. That's all I'm saying. But the change is everywhere now. And it's, it's hard to get away from. It's hard to get away from is what I'm saying. Because, um, you know, you don't have to go that far to see it. You can see it in your own neighborhood. You can see it walking down the street. But... You sure can see the more outlandish incidents on TikTok. You know, TikTok's everywhere, too. I mean, it's on YouTube. You see TikTok videos. They're just short little clips of very bizarre behavior. Very. I saw um, one clip, and I could not for the life of me figure it out. This man was on an airplane. He was a real big, burly man. And he's saying, I want to shake that man's hand. I want to shake that man's hand. He's going down the aisle. I guess it was some celebrity <coughs> it was on the airplane. And the um, the attendant, the flight attendant, was saying, no, you can't. You, you know, trying to hold him back. And he was just pushing him down the aisle. I want to shake that man's hand. I mean, see, that's just not normal behavior. I mean, I don't care. That's just... Th those incidents like that would have been very rare in the past. Now they're everywhere. And those are the incidents that I directly guarantee you are, are related to this. Absolutely, that's what's changing these people. But Satan's war has always been against our humanity, always. And now he's got all the technology and all the instruments he needs to do it, to make it success successful. The way he got us to change before is by leading us to sin and to bad behavior. But that wasn't enough. He wants to change our very DNA, as you know. And he wants to turn us into his creation that's the objective that's how he's mimicking god changing us into his creation and that is why this is forbidden to us forbidden and leads to damnation because it's changing who you are who god made you to be but the changes um are dramatic and they're hard to take because Especially now as I'm seeing younger and younger people being inflicted with this vipers mark. And um, it's heartbreaking. Because they're at the age where they are, they are accountable. They're not like little kids. They're not like little five-year-olds. Then the parents are really accountable. Get their kids bitten. <clears throat> but... Um, on many fish, there was just just a picture. He was he was talking about um, a video. He was talking about this these patches that they're putting on people that just makes it all so easy and makes you get you changed, transformed real quickly. But there was a picture of a young man, of course, wearing this mask, you know, and he was getting had the patches on his arms, and it's like he looked about seventeen, eighteen. It's just you know heartbreaking. They're being destroyed. You know, in the prime of life, being destroyed. Satan's plan, master plan. But um, the positive notes that I'm going to bring up is we can counter this n demonic change that's happening in the world by our own change, by our transformation in Christ Jesus by through drawing near to him and letting him work on us as a potter works on clay we can become a counter reaction to the wickedness we can become vessels for good 
vessels of light, vessels of hope, spreading hope, spreading goodness, spreading love, spreading truth, encountering all this darkness. That's what we're all called to do, no matter how dark it gets. That's what our voices are for. That's what our hands, our legs, our anatomy is for, to serve the Lord, to bring as many as we can into the fold, even at this last hour. Because our change does have effect on the overall balance of things, absolutely. Our transformation to good does counter the evil, even though it's so prevalent and so dark, that little bit of light, that candle, that candle burning in the darkness makes a difference. You can see with just one candle. If there's no, in one, if you're in a dark room, there's no light at all, you light one candle, you can see. So that's why being a candle, a single light, in my case where there's darkness all around, just being that one candle makes a difference. And you can all do the same. It's devastating, but we got to counter it the best we can with our light.